Now we're live here at a new housing development in the Shooter and Parliament area of Toronto, and we are talking about housing today. Richard Southern joins us. And Richard, first off, we just found out that uh, housing prices, the average price, at least for the first time, has dropped since uh, January 2014. And there's new data out now that makes us even want to know what is this mystery behind uh, these driving these prices up? We thought it was one thing, but maybe it's not. Yeah, that's right, Tammy. I mean, it's been the million dollar question exactly why has the housing market in Toronto been so strong in these past few years? Uh, it's very opaque. No one's quite sure. We did get those numbers you alluded to today from the Toronto Real Estate Board, and they had some data as far as what might be driving the market or what's not driving the market, at least. Foreign buyers, the Toronto Real Estate Board said, accounts for just 2.3% of purchases over the past nine years. And it says the share of homes bought and sold within a year, a.k.a. speculation, accounts for just 7% of the market. So if true, this would mean that the measures put forth by Queen's Park to slow the housing market won't work because those measures specifically target foreign buyers and speculators. So big question, Tammy, uh, again, is exactly what's driving this market. If it's not foreign buyers, if it's not people trying to make a quick buck, we don't know. I think the real test uh, will come next month when we get the May numbers because May will encompass an entire month with those new measures from the uh, provincial liberal government. So I think we'll get a better idea next month about what's going on with the Toronto housing market. Yeah, right now it's only been a few days since those provincial measures will, were put through, of course. And coming up, and maybe just local demand, we'll show you some more video of some crazy demand out in Bowmanville. This is video of people scrambling. They're desperate in this situation to try to buy a home, so we'll have more on that coming up a little bit later. But off to other business news now. When it comes to Facebook, it looks like they're putting in measures now to prevent crimes and suicides being live-streamed on the network. Yeah, they've had a big issue with this, right, Tammy, with Facebook Live and people sort of broadcasting some, you know, very questionable content. Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg said today he plans to hire 3,000 more people to review videos and posts. Policing live video is very difficult because the shooter often, you know, doesn't know what's going to happen. And Facebook doesn't want to get rid of live video altogether because it makes the company a lot of money. It keeps users on the service for longer. Advertisers like that. By the way, just in, in the last half an hour, Tammy, Facebook first quarter earnings, profit surging 76%, revenue above $8 billion. It has almost $2 billion active users. Very solid earnings from Facebook in this evening. All right, Richard, we know that you like a little drink here and there, just like any other Canadian, right? Absolutely. Right? Just yes. A little. Just Are you a offering bit. me one? So, Do you have one for me? Well, apparently, you may not want beer. Is beer not our favorite choice anymore as a no. drink? What is happening? We got to be more classy now. We got to have a glass of wine or maybe some scotch. We got new numbers in, Tammy, from Statistics Canada about what Canadians are drinking. First off, we are drinking a lot of booze. We spent $22.1 billion on alcohol last year. That was up 3.5% from the prior year. So, what are we drinking? Beer still is the drink of choice, but just barely. Canadians spent $9.2 billion on suds last year. It has a market share of 41.5%. But wine, close on beer's tail. Uh, wine, we spent seven billion dollars on that vino accounting for 31.6 percent of the market as far as spirits are concerned we shelled out 5.1 billion on liquor last year it has a market share of just over 23 uh, percent followed by ciders and coolers they have a much smaller 3.8 percent share so beer starting to fall out of favor and uh, when it comes to suds uh, we're favoring more uh, uh, diverse ones as far as domestic beer is concerned so changing tastes at the bar tammy yeah, I'm contributing to the wine factor going up for <laughs> sure, unfortunately. You can find a lot of wine on cruise ships, of course, and that seems to be the vacation of choice this summer. Yeah, interesting because, you know, cruises had really fallen out of favor. A lot of high-profile disasters. You had the Costa Concordia sinking off of Italy in 2012, and that really had uh, cruise um, visits plummeting. No longer, though, cruise vacations expected to jump 32% this year. A record number of passengers expected to take a cruise in 2017. What's changed? Well, cruise lines are going after younger people now. They are There are more party cruises for people in their 20s and 30s. Cruise lines are offering things like like uh, open bars, free airfare, uh, craft beer, as well as collaborations with local chefs, Tammy. 
All right, and if you like the water, you're going to love the next couple of days. More rain in the forecast, and there's a new product now on the market. It will keep you dry, but it will not keep you looking cute, apparently. I don't know. I, I think I might get one of these. I think it might work for me. Uh, Tammy, yeah. we're going to need this for the next three days in Toronto. It's called the New Brella. It's a hands free umbrella. You put it on like a backpack, you flip up the clear rain shield, and you got yourself. A hands free umbrella. Uh, it, uh, the company says, won't invert in the wind, so you don't have to worry about that. You can, of course, use your smartphone and whatnot. Uh, it weighs just three pounds. It retails for 68 bucks. I got to get myself a new umbrella. That looks pretty cool, don't you think, Tammy? $68? <laughs> I lose an umbrella like this in the back of a car, a cab. I can't spend 68 bucks on wear, an umbrella. Oh, wear well. it on your back. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks very much, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow.